Hello, Revere, and welcome to the Revere Veterans and Community Show. Today I have four special great guests. I'm going to start off with the one in the Senate, this gentleman, Alexander Ralimi, who's married and a former candidate for Sheriff of Sacramento County. Welcome, Thank Thank Alex. You. Thank you. On his right, I have a young lady. Her name is Kamel Zatoni. Welcome. Thank you for having us. On his left is a gentleman, Paulo Chavez from Brazil. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you. And on my left is um, Kiyadi El Kiyadi Basil, also from Morocco. Welcome. Happy to, happy to be on the show, Maurice. Alex, there was a fire at 10 Franklin Avenue, and that's what you're here for. So why don't you start it off? Well, thank you, Morris, for uh, bringing us here today. Um, it is special to be with you again thank you. Uh, on, the, on, the, on this show. I appreciate it. So on September 16, it was a Sunday, September 16, at about 1.30 p.m., uh, was a huge five-alarm fire that broke on 10 Franklin Ave that left about 36 families displaced out of their homes where they own condos. So we're here to talk about it, about the initiative, how can we help those 36 families that got displaced? And only three of them, I think, that they received some help right now from CAPIC. So the rest, they're all displaced differently. So we can talk about it. Right, and two of the families are right here. Paulo Chavez yes. and Mr. Uh, El Kiyati. Right. I'll get it right out. Okay, tell us about what it was like yeah, thank you, Maurice, for inviting us on, uh, on this show. And uh, as uh, Alex said, uh, that was the day of uh, 16. That was, um, I was out of the house, so, and my wife, she called me. She told me that there's a fire going on on, on, the, on, on, the, um, on the building. It was like a smoke first, and then I told her, just get out from the, the house, and let's see what uh, the fire department is going to do. So right now, as Alex said, there's like family suffering. Everybody is out. Some like living in the cars until now, I believe, and uh, we didn't really see. We are we will feel like neglected by everybody now, so we need some help. There is no help. So, if I raise, there is like in between bracket, there is like a problem like Red Cross. They invite us to the elementary school in Revere. They give us like I, I got just a file, it's right there, and uh, they said they're gonna give you like a a gift card with 500, I, I never received it. And now they said that this card was used. The Red Cross said they were going to give you a gift card? Yeah. They, but you never received it? I never received it. And they said, that, that's just w because we know that Red Cross, they are here to help. But for my case, I wasn't helped. And then for the housing, so we mm -hmm. still, we're going to pay that like taxes, condo fee, everything. So we have to raise our income by like three or four thousand dollars. When are we going to get that? So it's, it's, it's just, and the, the bad thing is, it's for our kids. My son, he can't sleep. He can't sleep right now. I get like three days off for him, just to make him happy. Because he has nothing, and I'm like shaking now. And it's, I don't know if the, the people can do something. We don't need clothes, that's nice. They, they give us clothes, they give us everything. But the thing is the house, mm -hmm. even if you give us like, clothes or furniture or everything. We don't need that, to be honest with you. What we need is a house. And I know it's easy for the city hall to do that, so to, to help us. That's what we're talking right now. We need a house. What I would like to say to you, El Kijad, is if the Red Cross is listening, they should honor what they said they were going to do for the people that were burned out at 10 Franklin Avenue. And Morris, I'm sorry to interrupt you, because I called them like many times, didn't know that. I, I raised this problem because I was like hurt right. myself. I don't care about 500. The thing, they said this card was used, and they are investigating. So if the MVC, the way we didn't it receive the investigation, 500 yeah. 500 doesn't going to do anything. And I, 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 no, 500 is not an... No, I, it's not about money, I said. So, so the Red Cross is here, we, we, we receive nothing. So we are talking about the, the, the KPX, so Miss Lee, she's really very nice. She, she helped us, she gave us a lot of information. But now what we need is a house where to be. And emotionally, we are like dying. My mm -hmm. son, he's like always talking about the fire. I want to leave. I won't even go back to... So where are you living right now? Father? Right now, I have a friend who I'm just live right here in, in Broadway. 
I have a friend, he give me his house because he doesn't use it for the month. Then I have to ask you, are there any other families living at Franklin Avenue or they're all out? They're all out. Nobody is there. Nobody's yeah, there. Nobody is there. Nobody is there. Nobody's there. Oh. there. I'm going to give some uh, yeah. time for other people to talk. Thank you. Okay. Paolo Chavez, you also lived at 10 Franklin yes, Avenue. Yes, I was. Tell us about your problem and all the help we can give you. Now, we're here to help you. Okay. So if people want to, you say you don't need clothes. You, no, what? What is it you would like for the people they could donate for you and you to hold up with right. for, for the I mean for the whole unit owner, the, what we need now is a house. Please and even, even if with the Section 8, we can pay like 400, 600, so just give us a house where to be right, and so get like a normal life. But you don't have to pay any rent now while you're not living at the 10 Franklin Abbey, am I? Some the opposite. Some they're those they're homeowners, are, uh, they're exactly. actually homeowners. They're not renters. Mm. If they were renters, it would be easier. Yeah. They leave that place, they go rent. But these people, these are condominiums. These condominium condominium owners. Yeah. So what happened, that's the reason why they pay in mortgage. They got to pay actually property tax this from the city. Condo that's fees. something we need to talk actually to the city officials and we make sure that Oppose, they can yeah, like to hold. Like okay, so suspend uh, it, at least suspend, suspend it. it for the now, so yeah. why don't you, uh, maybe I'm wrong on this, I hope I'm not, but maybe I could be. Why Insurance. not let the homeowners just take care of the taxes that you have to give to the city? That has to go. But the rest of it, you know, the money itself, not the taxes to put a rent check on it until they can get back into the apartment. Well, guess what? These homeowners, there is banks. The bank own, own the mortgages. The so they gotta, they're, they're actually responsible for paying the mortgage. So you cannot tell the mortgage company, well, there is a fire. We're not going to pay you until two years later until right. we get back. Exactly. You can't. So we have to get other resources, like the city should at least suspend or do some break or some fundraising at least to cover those expenses. Because mm -hmm. these homeowners right now, they're out of pocket at least $30,000 a year they have to come up with because rent, food, uh, uh, they need, they have to get like uh, uh, furnitures, new furniture, right. they lost everything. Mm -hmm. By the way, 10 Franklin Ave, if you walk by it, it's all guarded. So there total is nobody loss. living, it's total loss. Yeah. It's going to be built probably within at least two years. It's got to go through litigation, adjusters, insurance and all that stuff. Now these people were trying to fundraise for them and they need immediate need, not two years later. We, they need immediate lead, which is housing right now. Our organization, which is the Soul Moroccan Association, out of Riviera, 501c3, organized in the state, and we're out of Riviera, out of our city. We did open up a GoFundMe, which is going to benefit these 36 families. Right. But uh, we're here right now today to promote that GoFundMe because, unfortunately, for some other reasons, it's not well promoted through the city. Yeah. So we need to mm -hmm. do that. Even the city, they have their own resources. That's fine. We are here to work hand in hand. We're not here to blame each other and, and point at each other. We need to all work together. Exactly. As whatever there is, the politicians, cities, uh, civilians, we're all here to work together hand in hand. Our common, our common goal is to help these residents, which is, I think, 33 families they still displace right now because I've heard 36. about three only families, three families that only got the help from CAPIC because there's lack of resources right. out there. I have a question to ask you, if I may, and then I want to get to you, you Mr. Chavez. There's a, a lot of people from Morocco uh, families in Revere. Absolutely. Have any of them come out to help you to say, I have an extra room where you can stay with us for a month or two so we can help you? They, they did. They, they did. did. Yeah, that's, that's why he said did. now. But it think about it. Like as a family, let's say I have two, three bedrooms and I have kids. And the whole family, we're talking about and squeezing them in one room. That's not fair It's so kids. hard for oh. the kids. So these families, I'm talking about these kids that are emotionally distressed right now because of the fire, because of the circumstances. So we're trying to alleviate, right. just alleviate a little bit of that, that emotional distress. Yeah. And I mean, we're not, even the f we we're talking about financially, emotionally. So all this stuff is happening. So we need to get these families good help. And by the way, we're talking just Moroccan. We're not just Moroccans in that I building. Know, I, I mean, there's Brazilians, there's Spanish. Spanish. Spanish yeah, yeah, but largely, yeah, yeah. About, about 50, 50 percent about the residents the Moroccan. Moroccan. Moroccan is you know, Moroccan. but we try to help everyone. You know, whether whatever you black, you yellow, you blue, you Moroccan, you're not. We're trying to you help everybody. Yeah. But thank you for raising that issue. Thank but you. But the other issue I want to know, Alex, if people want to contact you to help, 
beside it, was, if they do it, uh, some of them can't see the numbers because the seniors are old, they have yes. an eye problem. How can they get reach you? They can reach us through the GoFundMe. Uh, there is a GoFundMe page. The title of that GoFundMe is 10 Franklin Ave Fire Relief. They can go to it. They can donate there. Uh, I'm on Facebook all the time, Alexander Walimi. Uh, uh, my sister Zitoni here uh, is it's, it's on Facebook all the time. We're trying to promote this page and GoFundMe, and we try and even have other city officials to promote it and our city to promote it, because it's not, it's not gonna harm if we have two, three efforts to help these people. Have any of you gone up before the city council to ask for help before the council itself, like on a Monday night? We will. We definitely oh, you will. Done it yet. Not yet, no, we, yes. but we will. Well, there's so a chance. We will right after this one. So that's why we're promoting this now and we go to, to other resources too. And see if you can get help from them. Exactly. exactly yeah. Right. Now forgive me, Mr. Chavez, yeah, because okay. I wanted to hear tell us what it was like on that Sunday the sixteenth. Of September when the fire was and what you would like well after the, the fire I go to the hotel I'm still over there I, I use my credit card to pay the hotel because I don't have no much cash and after that excuse me you're uh, using your credit card yeah but you're eventually gonna have to pay your credit card yes. or they'll blackmail yes. you yes I gotta pay the, my credit card so I don't have no much money for pay the credit card because I spend all the money in the credit card and then I have no place to go. So where are you, where are you living now? I'm in a hotel right now. Still in the hotel. Uh, still in the hotel. But I need some place to go because I have no place to go. And you are married too, so yes, you talk, I'm do you have any children? No, no children, I'm married. And they okay. have a little dog. Yeah, they have they a little have dog a too, yeah. Little dog. Yeah. Yeah, it's I love animals, so oh, I know what you're yeah, like. Yeah. So that's so. What is it you need? You need a place to live in for yes, you and the wife. Yes, I need help. And your little dog. Yeah, yeah. because a so lot if of there's an animal be. lover out there, yeah. if they wanted to contact you, let's say, and wanted to help you, yes. how would they contact you? Uh, my phone number is seven eight one eight five three eight one zero two. Right. Yeah. And I would like to ask you before I get to you next. Yeah. If they wanted to contact you, I have the same the number: six one seven six six nine seven five. For my, that's my phone number. And we are not here just for me and Chavez. We are here for, for the everybody. Whole I know unit. that. So uh, we have like a. Uh, but you know, the great prophet used to say a journey of a thousand miles begins with but a single step. Exactly. So if they start off with you, that'll be one less. And if they got you, that'll be two less. Right. Yes. Exactly. Now I would like to introduce a young lady, Hamel Zatoni. Um, Am I right? Yes, right. that's correct. You okay. mentioned my name. You pronounce my name, Excellence. Good. Um, uh, Maris, thank you so much for having us here. And I thank you for Revere TV. I appreciate that. Um, Oh, we are here to help people in our community. It doesn't matter, like Alex mm -hmm. said, uh, where you're from, what kind of relation. doesn't matter. We help each other. Like, he's from Brazil. Brazil right. We are from Morocco. We are here to help everybody in the building. It's 36 people and said uh, all these 36, they have no place to leave. Excuse Some me, people. Excuse me, is it 36 people or 36 families? 36, 36 family, family, I'm sorry. Yeah. 36 okay. no, no, no. Uh, apartments, yeah. I mean. That's a lot of people. There's over yeah. 100 people. There's 100 100 over 100 people, people yeah. but yeah. it's 36. I counted the, the owners, you oh, know. Wow. I, uh, it's over 100 people in, wow. uh, in the building. And a lot of people, they call me. Some people, they sleep in cars. Uh, some, some people, they have no place. They can even go to shelter. And this is a big problem. And how the kids feel. Some Did you say, excuse me, living in cars? Yes, oh, sir. Yes. The winter will be here in another month or so. Well, yeah, I yeah. met uh, yes. one guy, his last two weeks, me and Alex and Rizzo, and he, he, the guy, he said he have no place to go. He sleep in his car with the kids. And some people, uh, like some kids, they lose, uh, like they cannot go to school anymore because they live in other family house. Like if you move to your family in New Hampshire, how you can go to uh, Beach Mall School? That's right. Like, you know, it's, uh, it's sad. I know this will not cover everybody, but if any of those families happen to be a veteran, they could go to the veterans and Revere and speak to the vet director of veterans, Mark Silvestri, and he usually helps homeless veterans get a place where to live. So I'm mm -hmm. talking about veterans now yes. who got yes. burned out. They can go get help, but the ones that are not veterans, 
they should be able to get help from the Red Cross and other organizations, from the churches or wherever they are, from the uh, mosque or wherever. Yeah, me and Alex, we have a lot of plan. And first, we, we're going to, um, we, uh, now I'm talking to city of Revere, okay? I'm talking to the mayor from this show. Uh, we ask him for help. We are, the first person he have to help these people is the mayor, okay? That's number one. Number two, me and Alex, we have a lot of plan to do. Like we're gonna go to churches, we're gonna do a lot of thing, a lot of work. But city, ha he have to help these people. Right, you know, we're know, looking for help, you know? They pay yeah. taxes over the years. Well, that's taxpayer, yeah, yeah, right. of course, yeah. So, you know, when things get a little bad, it should be the other way around for a little while. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Absolutely. And we are not asking. Go ahead. Yeah. And and also the other thing, these families, they have kids, they have children, and right now some of them they're displaced and they cannot even go on time to their school. So think yeah. about it. Let's say we uh, relocate this family to Melrose or somewhere, yeah. but they still live in here. Yeah. So they're still registered at school here. We're still in the middle of school year, and that's a big problem. So we're trying to get these people mm -hmm. help at least be living surrounded on surrounding cities, Revere, Chelsea, uh, Everett, Malden, Malden yeah, you yes. know, just to get them closed. The so now yeah. we need, it's not like, oh, we're going to help them next six months, next year. We, we need, need now. to get no. them now. No, yeah. They need help exactly. now. So That's Alex, why we're here. Right. Before I give you this question here, right here, I would like to take a minute off, and I think you, when you all came in here, you said to me what a great job the fire department did. Oh, Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Yes. You said that. Yes. yes. So I want to say to the yeah. fire department. Well, thank you for uh, the fire so department. Much. I know four of them got, got some uh, smoke, smoke inhalation, yeah. so uh, wish them well. Uh, but also, we cannot forget actually the real victims right now. They're the residents. That they, they do get an displaced. excellent job, yeah. the fire department. That's and I would correct. like to say thank you for yeah. all the things you do, not only for the people of Revere and the fire department, but what you do for everybody in here. They do a Absolutely. great job. And, yeah. Yeah. and, and also, they get the help for other surrounding cities. We want to thank right. actually exactly. other fire department. They came in right. from local cities. I saw Melrose, Wakefield, I saw Chelsea, yeah. Melrose, Melrose, so Melrose, because it was yeah. a big fire, exactly, it was a five yeah. alarm farm. So. Right, and I would like to say one more thing to the people of Revere. If anybody has an apartment for rent, and we'd like to let them rent it cheap or they can help out these exactly. people. Contact you yep, yep. or contact yes. the lady yeah, here. And you got their I phone can give my phone number. My, my phone number is 781-558-0062. Again, uh, 781-558-0062. And my first name is Amal. And uh, I, I appreciate it if anybody call me and say, oh, look, I have apartments. Uh, people can use for this time, like one year, two year, for small amounts of money of rent. You know, it'd be very nice. Yeah. Because it has to be affordable. Like going back, like I said, these displaced family, they have a mortgage, they have a property tax, they have a condo fee. Yeah. So think about it. Yeah. They still have insurance to pay. And so so people, all this stuff. Lost yeah. job. As I said, some we have to increase like our income job. like yes. by three thousand or four thousand, and we can't afford that right now. How right. are they going to increase it? Yeah. You exactly. mentioned something to me a minute ago, and I, I, I'm not familiar with it. You said KPAC helped three families. Or two. CAPIC, yeah, CAPIC, CAPIC. Are, yeah. They help three families because it's, there's no. just lack does of resources. It, uh, does it depend on the income of the person for them to get help from capital? No, no, no. Just to give you like, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, right. Just to give you like uh, $3,000 and they don't give you the money. So they like pay, right. They don't give you the money, but they pay it to the one who got it. No, no, no. They give it to you. And then you can pay the first and last and the security deposit oh. from the owner. The thing is, it's like 3000 But because they give us like two or three days for the hotel, they deduct the amount of money and they give you the mm -hmm. difference. The oh, you know, they don't even give you the whole money. Oh, okay. And, uh, but at least Miss Lee in Capic, she was a really wonderful woman. She helped everybody. She said, once you get the agreement with the, uh, the lease, just bring it to us. We'll give you the $3,000. That's what she said. And she was on, on her, uh, she, 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 was, uh, she was right. So, Alex, you mentioned about a fund to help the people. Has that fund been set up yet? It's already set up uh, about two, okay. three weeks ago. Exactly. Yeah, uh, but uh, there is lack Have of exposure. It it's already on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, it is on Facebook. It's on yeah. Facebook, so right. we need to promote that uh, GoFundMe page. Uh, the name of the GoFundMe page, again, is 10 Franklin F. Fire Relief. So it's very easy to find. If you go to GoFundMe, you'll find it there. We, we, need, we need everyone, not just the city of Riviera, anybody that, that wants, wants to help. 
uh, like that's what I said, the, the Jusul Moroccan Association is a 501c3, so that means anybody that pitch in any money there, they can get the tax credits also, tax deduct because we're exempt. So. You know, we got some great uh, DJs or uh, musicians in yes. the city of Revere. Have you spoken to any of them that they could donate their time, hear me out, donate their time, you speak to maybe the Revere High School and see if you can get the auditorium or something and have a raising a fund to get money for the people there? That's a good Should idea, actually. Idea, yeah. It's a good idea, yeah. yes. It's a, it's a good idea if we can promote it, uh, uh, the event, yep. and promote it maybe on Revere TV, Revere Journal. I mean, there's a lot of ways to promote right. this. Right, uh, and uh, get a comedian to come down, man. Yeah, no, don't look at me, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> no, I mean, that's yeah. good musicians. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean it, yeah. to come down So yeah. this is, like I said, it's a combined effort. That's We're right. not just like saying we're going to blame the city. Okay, take care of us. We want everyone that have ideas like this, and thank you for you know saying nice. that. We wanna we wanna get people to just our goal, our common goal is to help people, you know, without any other goals. I mean, our exactly. main goal right now is to help these help, people. Yeah. Now I gotta ask you another question for the people that have kids. Any of you have kids? Yeah, I have, I have kids. I, have, I am a grandma. Oh. You're a grandma? Yes. Sir, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm, but you're talking about the displaced uh, families, right? Right. I'm talking about the kids of displaced families yeah. with the holidays coming up. Yeah. If people wanted to donate, donate, excuse me, mm -hmm. toys for the kids, could they drop them off at any of your places? Yes. Yeah, huh. that's that's fine, and we give them to the families. Okay. Right. Right. Our goal, we have to find house. Yeah. Houses for these. I know people. houses is the most important. More yeah. important but the little kids, you know, the yes. little kids with the house. Anything is easy. The clothes, uh, the toys, the furniture. Everything is easy. We can go to some store. They can make donations. Exactly. That's no problem. But the house is the is hard because we need help from city. We need help from state. We need help from people in Boston. It's not only Revere. So. Alex, here's a hypothetical question, and I don't know that, sure. and I'm not a lawyer. If a person wanted to rent an apartment low, let's say the apartment was $1,000, and he rents it because he can't afford it, but he don't want him living in the street for 500 can they write off the 500 as a loss or a tax it, deduction? Yes, yeah, I think yes, they can deduct it. No they can deduct uh, it. As I a mean, tax we can deduction. give them a, a letter that exactly, they can yeah. deduct it yeah. because yes. this is going to, oh, so to help words, people. Yes, right, right. That's, that's yeah, to help people. I mean, right. uh, and we, we, don't, we don't know right now when they're going to get back. As you see, the building still got it. I mean, we don't know when they're going to tear it down, when the demolition. We don't exactly. know. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we're not here to, like, again, we're not here to uh, point our fingers to anyone. We no, no. trying we to. Anyone, yeah. Our main goal exactly. with this show for to help the people that will displace people, exactly. and, we, and need we need immediate help. Help, yeah. Right. Not but next day. But next at least our voice to be heard. That's I want to thank through your show, Maurice, you first, and uh, what uh, Alex and uh, Sister Huria um, Amel did. <laughs> Huria. She's really doing a good job, and thank you so much, Alex. You're thank welcome. you so much. Because they are right. doing a good job. They are our voice right now. I gotta right. say something, and I said it before. I'm just a host, but it's you people that make the show. It's you people that help the community because I don't know what's going on until I hear it from you. And we're here to help you. Exactly. That's, how, that's my you. job, to yes. help you. So I want to reiterate it one more time, that if anybody has an apartment that they would like to donate for low-income low people who have low income now, to call either... Uh, my Amal. name is Amalia. And Amal. your phone number one They can one? call me, uh, my phone number seven eight one. Five five eight zero zero six two again seven eight one five five eight zero zero six two. And you, Alexander Ralini? Alex, they can call me at 617-312-4755. Also, they can reach out to me through the social media. I'm connected. Thank you. Okay, we only got about three minutes left, so I'm going to be fair with everybody. Starting with you, take one minute off and see what you want. Uh, I need an apartment. Um, my phone number is 781-853-8102. Right, and it's just you, the wife, and the dog. Yes, please. And what's the dog's name, by the way? Lily is a, is a female dog. <laughs> Lily? Yeah. So cute. A female? Yeah. She's spayed, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Alex. No, I'll let, I'll let okay, the, the victims, they're the one, they, they, they yeah, need so to take their time, you know. Go ahead. So as uh, Shavis says, that's what we need just to be heard. Right. Please, we need to be heard. We are suffering. I have a, a son, he's nine years old. I'm not talking about just for myself. I'm talking about mm -hmm. the whole unit, the owners. Right. So we they need house, and we lost everything. Lost everything. everything. So we need the government to help us to get our passport back, citizenship, 
birth certificate. Every, I, I, we lost everything. I said nothing, nothing, nothing. So now we need a house first, and uh, we can go from there. So my son, he's suffering right now. He can't sleep. And the thing is, we live just close to the fire department. Once the fire department they are out, my son is like freaking out. Oh. So it's really a big, big issue yeah. for okay, everybody. Okay, so give me your phone number one more time. And my phone number is 617-669-7549. And Morris, again, thank you so much for your show. And I, again, I thank Alex and Amal. Thank you so much, guys. You're thank Amal, you. would you like to say one thing? We have two minutes left. Yeah, two minutes. Um, I just want to say thank you to you, Maris, oh, for having us here. And an thank you to Revere TV, and thank you for serving the country oh, right. as a veteran. <laughs> and we very appreciate it, your time. And I wish my voice, uh, I wish everybody listened to my voice, because these people, they need help, and they need help as soon as possible. Um, I wish the mayor of Revere, uh, Rigo, can hear me today and do something for these people, please. And, you know, and thank you for Revere TV again, and I can let Alex Go ahead, Al. Thank you, uh, Morris. Uh, thank you to uh, Revere TV. Thank you, Revere Fire and surrounding areas for uh, helping shutting down that fire as quickly as possible. Um, if you hear me today, if you're watching this uh, live or watching it uh, later on, we need these people need help, immediate help. Uh, let's focus on, on, on ideas, how can we fundraise, how we can help these and people. And how we can work together. And working all together as one hand, as one community. We're only one community here. So we have several communities, but I see them as one community, one hand. So our goal, like again, we need to help these children, their seniors. There's a lot of people there. They were seniors and children, so we need to help all of them. Right, and, and thank I want to thank each one of you for coming. You, Mr. Chavez, thank you for coming. Thank you. you Mr. Alimi, thank, thank you, you for coming. You, Mr. Satoni, thank you for coming. And you, Mr. Basile, thank you thank for you coming. So much, sir. Thank, thank you, you so all. Much and I want to so say, much. God bless our troops, and God bless our great thank city, so the much. United States of America, too. Thank you. But I want to say one thing. We would like to see more people of the Islamic community come down to our senior center now if you can't eat the food we got I was told you could bring your own food come down and join us we have good things there we have good exercises there we have Zuma lessons you'd love it so come on down thank you 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 thank you